What is up everyone? My name is Daryl Arante and for today's video we are going to talk about or figure out the different outfits that Ryan Gosling as Six and Chris Evans as Sloyd Hansen in the latest trending movie from Netflix called The Grey Man. I actually saw the movie last week when it first came out and I was so inspired by the outfits that this gentleman wore, especially Chris Evans. So I did my research and tried to identify each item so you my audience can replicate the style they have in this movie. Keep in mind that this video is about identifying each style they wore per act and not really about finding the source of each item. However, I still included those items that I came across in my research. So without further delay, let's talk about the different outfits from the Grey Man movie. All right, so first, let's talk about Mr. Ryan Gosling's outfit, AKA Six. First scene when I saw him dressed up was when he was in Bangkok, Thailand, wearing a red suit and pants with a t-shirt under, which I assume it was a New Year's party. Anyways, easy enough to replicate this kind of style. You can find one at ASOS. And we had some good stranger from the internet ID his watch that he was wearing it. And according to his blog, Six was wearing tag your Carrera three hands. So if you want to own his watch, then feel free to click the link down below in which by the way, I also included the other links to some of the outfits that I will be mentioning in this video. Okay, so the next outfit he had in the movie is a full tracksuit outfit. He is pretty much wearing all black, but the top has two vertical lines that run from the shoulders. Based on my search, this is the closest that I could find I believe it's from Sport Tech Spartan Jacket. This looks very similar without the logo. As for the bottom, you can wear track pants in black and I believe his shoes are pretty much from Adidas or Adidas. I am pretty sure some of your folks out there are rocking this style already. All right, outfit number three looks like the same pants and shoes, but different jacket. This time he is wearing a faded gray full zip jacket and he pretty much wore this throughout the whole movie. Not sure if it's faded or made with suede material, but my gut tells me that this is like a denim club jacket that looks like this. Anyways, I've tried to find what brand the jacket came from based on the logo, but Google Lens failed me. So there's lots of websites that offer this specific jacket, but I don't trust each one of those. So feel free to look it up to yourself. All right, outfit number four is a small scene in Brazil where he was wearing another suit and pants, but this time with a navy blue long sleeve follow shirt. Brazil with long sleeves and pants must be hot down there. Anyways, it's easy to copy this one. Just need a full suit with window pane designs in gray color and paired it with a navy blue long sleeve Polo shirt. And last outfit from Mr. Gosling is from the last scene where he was wearing some type of canvas work shirt in beige color with cream or I guess it's an off-white shirt underneath. Then paired with um, gray pants and brown boots. I think I have a similar outfit with this one except that my neck color is not made with corduroy. Close enough, but you get the idea. Anyways, I think his jacket that he was wearing is from Polo Ralph Lauren, specifically called Sportsman canvas jacket. I could be wrong, but that's the closest one I found. Okay. All right, we are done with Mr. Ryan Gosling outfits. Now, let's dive in to my favorite Marvel character superhero, Mr. Captain America. Well, no longer a hero and decided to become a villain. So now he is Lloyd Henson with this annoying mustache. But we're not here to talk about his stash. We are here to talk about his amazing outfit. You pretty much saw him wear some type of muscle fit knitted shirt throughout the movie, except that scene where he decided to hunt down Ryan Gosling. He has this 50s or 60s classic style, which I am a big fan of because I love wearing this kind of style. And you can see this throughout my Instagram page, by the way. Anyways, the first outfit he had was a knitted polo shirt with a big window pane design. I can't really ID this one, but you get the sense of um, that is a knitted muscle polo shirt with a window pane design in black. That's all the information I got on this one. So let's move on to the next outfit he had, which was this um, bright mustard or, or yellow with taupe vertical stripes, paired with gray ankle pants and with di um, driving loafers. Very classy and the shirt itself is pretty interesting enough. Not sure if I could rock that polo shirt though. The shirt seems no longer exist, but I found it from the website Grail and it's a vintage style shirt from Max and Chester. Hmm. 
They may resurrect this item though. Get a crop pants or ankle pants in gray, then get a driving loafers like this one from Roddy's, which is their latest color from their recent drop. By the way, if you happen to find the right item from the movie, please leave a comment down below so you could help me or help the others. And for his outfit number three, another muscle fit type of shirt, which is my favorite one among them all, is this ge uh, geometric pattern knitted polo shirt that you could actually get from King and Tuckfield website. There it is, that's the actual source that's so Go get yourself some $300 near the shirt. He seems to be wearing navy blue ankle pants with black loafers and a brown watch. Strangely enough, a guy named Ricardo Sime or Sime did identify his watch. According to his blog, Chris Evans was wearing a Hamilton watch called the American Classic Bolton watch, which cost about $695 if this is the right one. Holy crap. His outfit is definitely expensive to buy. Well, that's all the muscle fitted shirt outfits he wore throughout the movie. Now, let's go with a different outfit where he wore a mock neck t-shirt in blue. And I believe the jacket that he's wearing is a chore jacket in blue also with off-white straight or relaxed pants. And I believe his shoes are mock toe boots. I can't find the actual source of this jacket, but this one from Todd Snyder seems like a close one. As for the shoes, um, this is similar to my Red Wings Mokto boots. You can see his outfit on this one is more relaxed compared to his other outfits, which I think conveys a message that he is about to do some dirty work. Well, that's my video of different outfits from the movie The Gray Man. I hope you guys enjoyed this one like I did. And if you do, please press the thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. That's it from me, guys. Stay safe and stay amazing. Have a good day, everyone. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.